All right, today I'm finally feeling better. Um, the other day I was, you know, I think it was Monday night or Tuesday night, I was uh, sitting there and one hour I was feeling great. The next hour I was down with a temperature of 100 and who knows what. It was horrible. I just couldn't even walk. So I went into bed and I stayed there and I've been in, in and out of my bed for about the last, uh, well, the last few days. Anyway, a little self-promotion first before I get started. I uh, produced a, a DVD uh, for sale on uh, creating a male bust in clay, and it's a, kind of a fun little DVD. It runs about an hour and 15 minutes long. Uh, you get the uh, DVD, of course, and a certificate of authenticity and a little, uh, you know, contact information, and even a little short bio about myself. On the buck. So if you'd like to buy one, uh, all the information of get, getting these uh, DVDs are listed below my video in the video description. All right, time to get busy on my clay and uh, see if we can't get this thing going again. I came in last night for just a few minutes. I was going to try to work, but I just was just too far out of it. But I did move the warrior back a little bit and change his head direction and all that might change again but for now that's you know basically where I've got it so I'm going to go ahead and get started by adding some clay the best way to get started is just start oh, a little more information on that uh, DVD um, it's unlike my YouTube videos where I speed through doing things and stuff like that. All of it is in real time and uh, very little editing. The only time I edit uh, is when I have a long pause between uh, what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. And I just don't want you sitting there watching the uh, clay sit still and nothing happening. I to decide whether to put a shirt on this gentleman. Um, I'm thinking of ha I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. What I'm trying to do is, is come up with a design for his body that reflects the force of the wind on him. And if I have a weapon of some kind in his hand and his whole arm is being lifted up by the, uh, the wind, it, it kind of gives a feeling of he's being pushed from behind. I kind of like that. When you're creating a story, you're editing your uh, copy just like you would if you were a uh, writer. You're writing a story. You're, everything that is going on in your clay reflects the opening paragraph of your story. And all I'm doing is filling in the uh, background. The uh, horses are the initial paragraph, and the Native Americans are the uh, rest of the story. I think his head's too big. I'm going to have to redo his head. All right, what I'm going to do is just make a uh, arm because he's got one arm away from his body 
and it needs support for the clay or else the clay will just uh, you know start bending after a while it won't actually hold its shape so I'm just gonna basically follow the same angle that I've got up to the shoulder and then I bend this over and down because I want this to dig into the body of the warrior so I'm using aluminum wire here driving the armature down into his body and then taking away the uh, clay that was in the arm up to now and replacing it with the wire frame. And the reason I made the uh, wire go down in his body is so that uh, this doesn't uh, change angles. I wanted to change angles. Okay. This clay is sticky enough. It stays on the uh, wire really well. A lot of artists like to wrap their wire with smaller wire to give it teeth to hold the clay, but you really don't need to do that. Clay sticks to it really well. all up to your taste and what you've been taught. Okay, I made a new armature for this guy's head because his head's too big. I want it to be more this size. And so I'm going to... I drove a, the wire down into a hole that I drilled. And I just drive, run a screw right down next to it to uh, make sure it stays in place. And I've got these two on 
the revolving uh, little setup I've got here with the Lazy Susan. And I've got them set up next to each other so I can match their sizes. And I'll do one while I'm keeping the, this one at the uh, size it's supposed to be. And that way it will keep me on the button for this one. So the first thing I do is just start adding clay. I, what I did was I looped it a little bit so that you could, you know, so the clay has a kind of an anchor. I don't want it sliding down the wire. Now because I've got a DVD out on how to sculpt a male head, I am going to probably not show all of this because I'm not going to give something away for free. There's something that I'm charging for. All right, I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Uh, this will just have to end for today. I just ran out of time. I've got to go to dinner tonight with some friends. Anyway, um, I think they'll be fine. I've checked, double checked on the uh, proportions and everything, and everything seems to be working. And uh, now it's just a matter of me creating personalities in the clay. All right. Uh, see you tomorrow.